discussing the regulation and development banking options. What are the alternate banking options at present? The alternative banking options at the moment are the new branches of the traditional banking. A traditional banking is dictated by the license it holds. The new licensing options that they can have now, you're looking at electronic money institutions, which are known as EMIs or PIs, payment institutions, and mostly you'll be looking at institutions regulated under the new PSD2 directive. So you mentioned regulation. What kind of regulations are being implemented and at what rate? Well, that's relative. Regulation is mostly implemented now in the EU. So you need to have regulation that is quite good and solid. I mean, a country is characterized by its value of its currency, so is a bank by its value of its license. If it holds a good license, which is much in demand, like a UK license under the FCA, then you're looking at a good one. If you're looking at something which is, again, equivalent but strong enough, you're looking somewhere like in Cyprus, or even you could potentially go up to Germany for this. So a licensing is relative according to the investment that the institutional owners are willing to do. And this seems like a sector that's developing at a rapid rate, so what kind of challenges are companies facing? Well, the challenges are always have related with the global market. So you do have the licensing now, but you're also looking at what the license holds. Now, a license might hold principal memberships and payment schemes like Visa and MasterCard. But at the same time, if you're looking at the permanent license, which is an EMI, you're looking at wire transfers as well. So when you have all of these services on board, then you come with the challenge of e-money. What is e-money? Are you looking at fiat money converted into e-money, which is related again to forex and global fluctuations of the economy? Or are you looking at Bitcoin and cryptocurrency? These things do not connect or correlate at the current moment. So you cannot even enforce the same AML measures or the same compliance measures from fiat money into e-money into cryptocurrency. So these are the things that you're going to have to see because now it's a cross-border world with no limits. And you've mentioned the e-money and the Bitcoin and no correlation. Is there a correlation that's going to happen at some point or is this something inevitable? That's a one million dollar question. <laughs> um, well, look, cryptocurrency is the future. I mean, now we're looking at a new dimension of the economy, the fintech economy, the electronic economy. So there's still a lot of scrutiny who's going to control this and which currency is going to dominate this. Definitely, it's not going to be a country currency. Bitcoin is looking at a bit of a shallow edge at the moment. So it's going to be cryptocurrency. It's going to be something based on blockchain. But at the moment, there's still no clear picture about this.